What is up guys, Johnny here back with another COD Mobile video. Today, we talk about the bundles, bundles versus crates, and the hashtag bundles only movement on Reddit. Now you don't need to scroll very far after the pinned post to see some memes, some posts, like just imagine season 11 anniversary, no more crates, just bundles only, and zombie mode back. You know guys, I want zombie mode. It would be awesome, but that's just one, 1,700 upvotes uh, in 14 hours. Oh, I like that one. We don't want crates. We just want bundles. And of course, like, who would win? A lucky draw to get the Cordite for like 100 plus? Usually it's 150 or 125. Or a $10 bundle in another game, maybe, uh, to get the Cordite. Uh, legendary. Like, you know, guys... It's very simple. If you had to choose, would you spend 100 or 10 Of course, everyone would say 10 20 $15 bundles. Now, that's uh, Activision wondering if they should go bundles only or crates and lucky draws. And Activision about to hit the red button. Now, of course, we did talk about that. There, there's been an A-B testing. And you guys probably remember a few months ago, they did some lucky draws and bundles to different players and then they gave more bundles to more players um and it's been very controversial because of course some guys had to pay 100 plus and other guys had to pay only 20 bucks but a b testing the whole point is gathering data and um most likely they make more money with crates and lucky draws i guess and the bundles only movement, one of their argument is if there was only bundles, more players would buy. And probably they are right. Yes, more players will buy. Some guys will pass on lucky draws and they don't spend money. But if they see a good $20 bundle, they would buy. The thing though is it's not enough players to make up for all the money they make on on crates and lucky draws i guess because they're not stupid right i i'm pretty sure they did the math and they did after the a b testing probably realized that even if there's a group of players that selectively spend their money on only bundles um it's millions and millions and millions of players who still will never spend a dollar in a mobile game. Young young kids, uh, people who don't have money for gaming. And then on the flip side, you have these kinds of posts. They say, keep it up devs. Like season one free to play players didn't have much to choose. And then after 10 seasons, we have so many free soldier skins, so many cool epics and stuff. Still no free legendaries though, but that does a lot of stuff seasons after season after season uh free skins all the time and better and better skins so yeah it's tough to please everyone and and i i totally understand if you ask me cod mobile players i'm a cod player i'm a cod mobile player if activision give me bundles only instead of crates of course i would be happy i would save hundreds and hundreds of dollars every month every season because I do buy a lot of stuff. Yeah, I do. I buy crates. I'm not the most crazy guy on, on crate spending. I, I don't buy everything. I don't buy all the lucky draws also. I just choose the ones I like the most. But I understand the Reddit right now. They're, they're asking. It's very simple what they're asking. Bundles only. And then they compare. I, I don't know what that is. Is it uh a console game i or another uh another mobile game i don't know i didn't check but still i've seen in the past when we first started getting bundles they were comparing to some console black ops game and of course like most mobile players if you if you ask them to pay 60 65 dollars for a game they will not buy they play the game because it's free that's why it has millions and millions of downloads the guys on console, they paid for a $500 console and then they pay for a $60, $70 game. And then they still have money for, for bundles. So, yeah, and it keeps going. You can check the Reddit. It's all about bundles right now. They want bundles, like players want bundles. 
and and so much that they have started to censor some posts. And there's a bit of frustration in the community right now. They say because it's like there's a limit between asking for something and straight up spamming. Because in the last community update, uh, I think some guy's been muted for spamming. Every comment, every reply was hashtag bundles only and capital letters bundles only. I mean, usually they read the Reddit, they read the post, they answer very often to some questions. And when something's big like that, I mean, there was a movement before that and it's been answered for other stuff. I, I'm expecting a, 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 at least an official statement about, yeah, we we hear you, we saw, uh, that you cannot ignore forever, right? I mean, it's just gonna get worse. Now, after the big controversy, they started putting bundles for everyone the, se the season after. Uh, it was not just some players. Everyone has the same crates. Everyone has the same bundles. The problem, though, is the bundles are not that great. And it's not that expensive, though, but it's still like $11 for not much. It's, it's a smoke and a pharaoh. So I didn't buy it. You can see I didn't buy anything here. Uh, the next one is the AK-117 Bengal. It's an old crate gun. Some guys spend a lot of money for that, but I still don't want to pay 1,400 cut points for it, you know? Now, that one's pretty good, but at the same time, we have a new soldier skin, the park skin on the calendar. It's not the same skin, but pretty similar. And that one here is HG-40 Geometry. I think it was, um, was it a season crate reward? I mean, it, it was pretty rare. If you guys didn't get lucky, then you can buy it. And I saw some leaks for the upcoming bundles this season, and it's not looking better. Now, here, credits to Data Miner's hole on YouTube, uh, spoiling some upcoming um, bundles. And you have the PDW heat stroke. I know I got that one. I don't remember where it's from. Was it? Was it uh, the crate that Ferg spent a lot of money and got duplicate heat stroke? I think I bought a few crates and I got a few heat stroke. Uh, that one though, if it's gonna be 200 card points, I, I don't know. It seems pretty cheap for a soldier. It's probably gonna be more than that. Uh, that I would buy for cheap because I think it's a cool soldier. Uh, but that one is another crate from the season pass, right? And I got the BK. So if it's like 20 bucks, I don't know. And that one, I think, is the only exclusive item. It's a Chicom Moonstone. I think it's an unreleased gun that's going to be uh, in a bundle later with a striker. But yeah, I mean, it means they might be releasing, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, they might be releasing exclusive new unreleased stuff through bundles only so some guys can buy. But it's not premium stuff. I mean, it's a Chicom skin. It's probably an epic. It's not something crazy that everyone will go, oh my god, I need that. Like, Chicom is not super popular. It's a great weapon, but like, it's not like if they release a legendary, uh, I don't know, the legendary HG40 or something, or the legendary HBR or whatever. I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff out there. So, so there's that, guys. It's not looking like it's going to get any better this season at least. There's still like two weeks, a little over two weeks to the end of the season. And I'm I'm going to guess probably the next season is already planned anyways. So I don't expect a change in season 11 either. But I expect at least an answer. And I don't know. I, I don't expect something positive. And don't bash me for that. It's just what I think is going to happen. I think they're a pretty big company and they know what they're doing. And if they don't or they didn't already release the big stuff for everyone, it's probably because it's not worth it, right? But in the meantime, they did change the crate system recently. We now have dupe protection. So the stuff that happened to Ferg is not going to happen again. With this new system, like you're going to get all the epics one by one until you have them all. You cannot get dupes and you cannot spend a thousand bucks anymore on a crate getting the same epic over and over again. So I think for the big spenders, um, they did fix the problem. And some guys say the new system is worse. I don't agree. I think the new system is better. The crates are more expensive. Yeah, I know. But you cannot get dupes. So it kind of makes up for it. If you guys buy crates, you know. 
Um, but if you just buy random, like cheap crates here and there, that's maybe not better. But for the big spenders, it, it is actually better. To have a real movement, it would be everyone. Everyone would have to be in it and everyone would have to boycott crates. It's what we would need for change is an actual boycott, but a boycott for everyone. And here's the problem. And people often blame the few YouTubers like Ferg and, and Hawk's Nest and Noah for buying the crates and the lucky draws. But it's just like you can count on your hands the number of YouTubers who open everything. If it's like five guys in the whole world, it's not because of them. And people keep blaming them. I played another game, Marvel Strike Force, and everyone made a boycott the whole reddit and all the youtubers they stopped buying red stars at the same time and in that month the game actually made more money than ever because the thing is it's millions of players and millions of players people will still spend that's the thing so anyways we'll see what the future holds and hopefully we're gonna have at least an answer maybe not a big change but at least an answer so that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like if you did and let me know your opinion in the comments. You know I read everything. And don't forget to subscribe for daily cut mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.